What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Akim Sterling here. Now in this video, I'm going to do the comparison of the Sony ZV-E1 versus the GoPro Hero 11. I'm going to basically test the camera quality to see which one is the best for a vlogging situation. Now you might be wondering why am I comparing a $2,000 versus probably like a $300 camera. Now GoPro and the Sony ZV-E1 basically are the same type of camera that we can use for vlogging you know that GoPro is mainly for action camera but Sony ZV-E1 and GoPro can they are both used for vlogging scenarios so I basically use these couple of camera on my vlogging channel a couple of times and many of you may not realize when I'm switching from the GoPro or when I'm using the Sony ZV-E1 basically if I did not state it that I'm using the Sony ZV-E1 or I'm using the GoPro you guys might not notice because sometimes when you're watching a video I can play a little trick on you if you're not so familiarized with the quality of these camera so that's why in this video I'm gonna test it to let you guys see all the footage with this camera right here so stay tuned all right as you can see right now guys I'm recording both on the Sony ZV-E1 and on the GoPro Hero 11 right here now to make this setup really simple I'm recording with the internal mic on both devices right now I'm using the Sigma 16mm to 28mm lens and also on the GoPro I'm using the wide angle lens now the wide angle lens is roughly around 16 which is the same focal length as this right here I'm using both is in wide angle and you guys can see right here the quality of both devices and with the Sony ZV-E1 I'm recording in intelligent mode so there's no manual setting in this camera right here straight out the box and this is how it is out the box with the GoPro right here and I'm just gonna compare it um, let you guys see how it look in terms of image quality also I'm gonna do a dynamic stabilization test as well so let you guys see if you guys can see any difference which one look better is it in the Sony ZV-E1 or the GoPro or the GoPro can match up against this right here let me know guys alright guys All right now I'm doing the stabilization test right here and both on the GoPro and also on the Sony ZV-E1 right here and the GoPro is on iPos mode it's on on the GoPro right now and we are just walking out here and you guys can see the stabilization on this I think with GoPro we will do a better job in terms of stabilization so I'm just gonna test it if you guys see I'm walking a bit fast moving around in this vlogging type situation right here and you guys can see but one thing though with the camera right here it's a bit heavy more so in terms of you're in a situation where you just flip out the camera the GoPro will do a better job because sometimes vlogging like this it can be a bit tiring especially if you're using a big lens onto your camera setup now I will give it the GoPro the its edge in terms of vlogging like this out here in this situation because the camera will definitely produce a better quality but in terms of walking like this your hand will get tired and this is how the footage look in active as you can see right here I'm recording right now in active stabilization and you can see how this basically looks I can definitely see some like a bit of shaking onto the camera the GoPro still maintain that smoothness because that what GoPro do it basically made for capture action and this right here does a vlogging camera which produce some super high quality it's basically the same sensor in the Sony FX3 and the 7A7S3 which is really great image with this right here as I'm said, I'm flickering everything right now in auto mode and it's really great. Alright guys, one thing I want to talk about this camera as well is that with the Sony ZV-E1, it would perform better in low light condition. So if I should do a test with these two cameras, the Sony ZV-E1 definitely will outshine the GoPro because we all know that GoPro is not really a best camera in terms of in low light condition and this camera right here will shine better because of its dynamic range especially if you are shooting in low light condition as I'm said right now the camera is in auto settings and I'm not doing any control the camera is just basically figuring out which settings to use to give me the best image with this right here and this is basically the image quality with these two cameras right here 
and you guys can see and let me know how these two camera performs with this um, situation right here outdoor in terms of vlogging all right guys so one of the things that i have realized when shooting on the sony zve one is that for the best settings i will not recommend you guys to shoot in the auto mode because sometimes the camera might get super bright sometimes it might be over exposed and so forth so with this test i have realized those few things and i recommend that if you're shooting like in a bright sunny day i recommend like getting an nd filter and also i have done a video on that you guys can check the card above our links on my channel for that in the description and also i recommend shooting everything in manual settings so you can control like your iso your shutter speed and those things if you're shooting on these type of camera because if you leave it into other thing like that you might not get the best quality and the camera might do whatever it want so to get the super high image from this camera right here i recommend using your manual settings and i have done a video on my channel show you guys how to do that so if you want to learn more about this camera please subscribe to this channel for more content like this and also everything in this video i will leave in the description if you guys want to check them out and thank you guys for watching and i see you guys in my next video peace out.